Hello, you majestic stallions and stallionettes. Today we're going to be ranking the Genshin characters by their drip. To be specific, how good the drip be looking. Now, I know we just tackled the whole combat effectiveness of the drip tier list, but no, no, no. This is going to be much simpler, and even if they were dead last on the last video, hey, it's a possibility for them to be blessed by the drip gods in terms of how good they be looking. So real quick, we'll get into the tiers. First up, we have the blessed by the drip gods for the select few who even <laughs> even by anime standards are extremely well versed in drill then we got the majestic attire for the extremely drippy folks the a little drippy the meh looking kind of basic and then finally the kind of just a squabble dobble of a mess with all the tears in mind let's get into it all right so first up we have Dea, who was <laughs> pretty close to dead last on the practical of the drip tier list but now we talking about how good she looks and yeah she's pretty high up there <laughs> she has a very nice color scheme going on just a simple a red black and gold that even though she has a bunch of accessories kind of just everywhere <laughs> it doesn't feel like too much because it's not too many colors it just feels right in terms of things that might just make her look better and could be removed i don't know the straps that she has on her thighs kind of just you know they, they do a little something so i can't criticize those that much i'm not that big of a fan of the one earring she's got going on it kind of kind of rubs me the wrong way but besides for that everything's kind of good the heels again we're not talking about practicality we're just talking about does it highlight her physique and the scarf in the back i mean again it's just such a nice color scheme everything works really well together i'm not gonna put her in straight up blessed by the drip gods because i don't quite think that but i think she still has some majestic attire. She looked pretty good. Next up, we got Monsieur Alhatham, who, okay, much more simple, very nice color scheme because it's not too much going on. Is he very drippy though? I kind of like the, you know, those little green and blue things near his boots? They look like those mirrors, you know, the cathedral church things? I don't know what you call those, the, a mural? Yes, a mural. It looks like the man straight up has murals on his boots. <laughs> and his nice black shirt highlights his abs even though he doesn't really work out that much it's fine he do be looking pretty good this is kind of a weird thing where i actually wouldn't mind if there was more because the back on his cape there's kind of a lot going on but the front is very simple he has a lot of things just hanging below with the belt like the waist you know what? i'll be nice because of the the murals i feel like i'm pronouncing that word wrong the murals on the boots i'll actually put him with dea in majestic attire it looks really good and now that i'm saying it there's gonna be a lot of characters who are high up on this tier list <laughs> next up we got yao yao okay this is very simple is it basic though i don't think it's quite basic because of the big bells she got in her hair which are definitely the biggest standout factor for her she has the little basket like she's going to the farmer's market but it doesn't do much for her drip in terms of shoes they just look kind of good and they do look just quite comfortable as well which i always love seeing characters you know nice and comf especially for a cinnamon bun like yao yao i'm gonna put her in just a little drippy i'm not gonna put her in basic it's definitely debatable but just because she has those nice big bells in her hair it makes her stand out enough to put her there next we got scudamouche now okay the hat is very drippy from a practical standpoint it still bothers me i'm not gonna lie but if you look at the top this thing is freaking gorgeous and he doesn't have too much going on everything's in moderation hmm i'm trying to think of anything to criticize on the boy he just looks very good but the thing is besides for the hat there isn't much drip going on the garb he's wearing like the shirt and the shorty short things i don't know if there's probably a name for those but it's all very simple honestly if he didn't have the hat he would definitely be in a little basic but should the hat put him in a little drippy or majestic attire i'm gonna put him at the top of a little drippy just for the hat yeah 
I think that's a good spot for the boy, the legend. Next, we got Faruzan, who, God, I, I just adore the colors of the skirt thing. They look like little mirrors, which are extra a snap, but they do be looking good, so I can't criticize it for that. Besides for that, everything is very simple, though. I like the little accessories she's got in her hair going on. They suit her knowledgeable brain. But besides for that, she just has a lot of jewelry, which I do like. It suits her, and it's all the same color scheme. It's not too much. I'll put her with Scaramouche, actually. A little drippy. Next up, we have Lila. Okay, this one is bottom half-wise. It's very simple, but it's drippy because of the gold. Like, she's got the bling. Now, there's definitely some things I could do without. I feel like it's a bit much, but not quite too much. Also, I don't really understand these golden accessories <laughs> that are attached to her hair. Like, how does that work? Ladies in the chat, please, uh, does this make sense or am I thinking too hard? But I'm gonna put her in overall the nightcap, the gold everywhere. You know what? I'll put her towards the bottom of majestic attire. She kind of found that sweet spot somehow with all that bling bling sleepo beepo has going on. Don't sleep, girl. Next, we got Nahida. Okay, guys, I love Nahida. I'm pretty sure everybody does. She's a wholesome cinnamon bun, but my girl is looking a little basic. I like the hair ornaments. I think those are the best part for me. I think they look sick. And the fact that she has those green strands of hair to signify the nature of the world, man, I think is really cool. There's a lot of subtle good things, but compared to a lot of these other anime characters, I'm gonna have to put my girl in a little basic. Yeah, there's not much going on. They could have added a little more and I wouldn't really be upset. But still, she's a cinnamon bun. No insult intended here. Next, we got Nilu. Ooh, okay, okay. Is there too much going on here? Kind of. I think, no, you know what? I'm not gonna put her in too much going on because everything suits each other well. The only thing that I find kind of odd is that her hair is red, <laughs> which I know is not part of her drip, but it's just the color scheme of her outfit is just blue and gold and a little bit of black at the top there with the horns. And then her hair's just, red. So it just looks kind of odd to me, but it still looks pretty good. I think the outfit itself is very drippy. With that in mind, yeah, I'll put her as well towards the bottom half of majestic attire. Like so far, if you were to tell me to categorize an outfit as just majestic, it would be Nilu's. This is a very majestic outfit for a nice lady. Next, we got Sino. Hmm, this is odd because he has a very unique upper half half, but it kind of feels basic. Am I the only one who feels like this feels a little basic? I don't know. There's not much going on here. Like, yeah, he has the cool pharaoh hat thing going on, and it definitely gives him a unique aura, even though he's just a meme lord, but whatever. <laughs> Does he have any other standout parts besides for his feet that don't have shoes? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put him in just for the pharaoh hat. I'll put him in a little drippy towards the bottom. It's debatable that he can actually go in a little basic because there really isn't that much here, but still it, that hat kind of saves him. I'm not gonna lie. Next we have Cand. Mm, I said this in the last video. There's too much going on here. There's so so many accessories, and I get it, she's Dea's bestie and Dea's a shopanista fashionista. But in Candace's sense, like, she has that whole moon thing on the head. She has a that. She has that. Like, there's so much. Don't get me wrong. I love Candace. If you've seen any of my other tier lists that aren't drip related, you know I love this girl. But in terms of attire, there's too much going on, man. We have our first little bit of a mess character for the day. So next up, we got Dory. Now, in terms of small <laughs> characters, <laughs> she kind of has a little bit of a lot going on here, but I don't think it's a mess. In fact, I kind of love it <laughs> because dude, I think it's the diamond glasses. Like she looks like a pimp, bro. <laughs> I mean, she kind of is one. She's a pimp when it comes to the cha-ching cha-ching. And I do like the hat. I think it's very drippy with the electro vision hanging. I like the poofy genie pant. <sighs> okay, wait, wait, you know what? Uh, I wasn't expecting this when I started talking about Dory, but I'm gonna put her in blessed by the drip gods. She kind of has a lot going on, but it doesn't feel messy. It might just be because she's short, but bro, 
bro, her vibe suits the outfit, which is perfect. That is, in my opinion, the epitome of good drip. When they make a character suit the outfit. And in this case, yeah, Dory is the drip god. Next we got Big Ears McGee. Now, okay, very simple. Is it basic? I kind of like the traditional thing he's got going on because he's a forest ranger with the colors he has in the middle. Like he has a very simple outfit, but he has a lot of colors going on. Like with the scarfs he has, with the little green pendant on the back. Debatably, he would go in a little basic. Those uh, boots be looking a little basic, but they suit the color scheme of the outfit as a whole. With that in mind, Mind, I'll put him in a little trippy. It's debatable that he can go on basic, but my man looks pretty good. Yeah. And honestly, if I were to count the tail as part of his drip, he might even go higher, but we're gonna keep him there. Next, we got Kale. Okay, she has this thing. I see this in anime and in games where the stockings she has on are two different lengths. And I don't know why they do this. Why is this a fashion thing? Now, I'm not gonna dock her points because I, I, I get it. No, I don't get it. <laughs> but but it's fine. I do like the little belt thing she has going on there and the other thing. There's kind of a lot on the lower half. In terms of the footwear, it looks kind of nice too. It's kind of drippy with the bling bling gold at the top. This is kind of tricky because honestly, it's debatable that she can go in majestic attire because she kind of has a lot going on that's just fashion related. Like Kale very clearly cares about the way she looks. And oh, she has a really nice hair pendant too. Hmm. Nah, nah, we're gonna put her in a little dress. I was thinking maybe higher, but we're gonna keep her there just because I have a personal detestment of the different sized stocking legging, whatever those are. Next, we got Hazel. Now, my boy, my boy. Now, very simple white shirt thing going on, but if we look to the bottom half, ooh, I kind of like where this is going, son. I really like the gold. It kind of suits the upper half because the white shirt thing he's got going on is so bland and basic, but the fact that the bottom half is gold of all colors, I think suits it really well because it's the perfect blend. Now, besides for that, he has some armor going on, which is kind of gold plated and black, which looks really cool. The shoes or clogs or the geta, I think it's called. A guy commented on the last video, respect. They look pretty good. Obviously, they're not practical for use. They were just made as a status symbol way back when, but they do be looking kind of drippy. I like how they look. With all that in mind, I'm actually going to put him in in pretty majestic attire, maybe towards the bottom half, because debatably the top half looks really simple, but my man still looks pretty good. I like his attire a lot, yes. Next we got Shinobu, okay. Mm. Hmm, this is tricky. Now I gotta give her points for the mask because it's really unique in the sense that we just straight up don't have any other characters with a mask in the game. And I don't think we'll ever get one, honestly. I think Shinobu's a, a special sausage when it comes to that. Besides for the mask, I like how her hair's tied. Ooh, it kind of looks like a little windmill thing, her hair, because it's tied by that red thing. Looks pretty cool. I like the whole Kunoichi like vibe she has in the chest area. I know the tattoos aren't considered drip, but I adore that as well. <laughs> she has a bit of drippy armor going around. The color scheme is really nice as well. I do like the red and black stick she's got going with a bit of gold for the bling bling because she's from the bling bling gang, also known as the less fortunate Arataki gang, but she looks good. Everything comes together very well. Ooh, I do like the leg wear as well. Would she go? No, I don't think she's quite a drip god. Hmm, reconsidering, reconsidering. I think this is drip god actually because I feel like I'm kind of looking looking for a lot, where I'm looking for a lot of clothing to be present on the specific character. But to me, that doesn't really signify amazing drip. So yeah, we're gonna put Shinobu at the top in Drip God, probably towards the lower side, definitely not on Dory's tier, but she's very unique and she stands out and yeah, my girl looking good. Next up, we got Yelan. Now, right off the bat, boom, this bothers me to no end. I don't know why there's a zipper on your pants that isn't for your special area, but it just kind of bothers me, man. Does it bother anyone else? It has to. And honestly, it just bothers me that she never zips it up. Like, it's not a pocket. Why is it there? <laughs> but besides for that nitpick, I kind of like the weird pant stick she has going on. <laughs> I know they're not really pants because if you look closely, they're attached to the upper half of her body, but they still be looking good. And this shade of blue that she has going on, I just rock with. I kind of adore that color scheme. It's probably my favorite color besides purple. So I have to give her a bit of bias 
bonus points for that. Aside from that, she has a couple of things going on. I like the dice accessory and the emerald thing on her neck, like the, the neck, the choker. I think that looks very stimulating. And finally, the jacket. Now, I actually read up in the lore that Pantalone, one of the harbingers, was actually gonna give this jacket to the Tsaritsa. But Yelan was basically like, <laughs> I'm gonna theft this man, which is such a Giga Chad move. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? With all that said, I'm gonna put her in extremely drippy. Yeah, maybe if this little pant thing wasn't here, debatably she would go in drip god. But just for that, she's going in extremely drippy. Next up, we got Ayato. And yes, 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 yes. I have a thing for formal attire. And when they add very drippy, specific things to the formal attire, bro, I vibe with that so much. And this is the perfect example. He has normal dress pants. He has a normal shirt, kind of Japanese styled. But then he has the gold stuff <laughs> just everywhere. And it suits him, bro. It signifies that, yes, this is a very wealthy, fancy individual. And he's a very sexy, drippy looking individual. Is he a drip god though? Ooh, the shoes too. Ooh, okay. Yeah, nah, my man's a drip god. Like he just has the physique. His legs are a little too long, but that that, that doesn't have anything to do with drip. But nah, he, he is a drip god. I'll put him up there. Next up, we got Yai Miko. Now, very traditional in the Japanese sense. There isn't actually much going on though. I do like the head thing she's got. I have no idea what it even is, <laughs> but it looks cool. Ooh, oh, yo, okay. Oh, wait. Okay, one, she has two earrings, which right off the bat, respect, because for some reason, other characters have one, which, grr, aggravate. And also one of them has her electro vision, which I find really cool. Besides for that, I know the whole not having pants is just part of the shrine lady kind of shtick she has going on, but I just kind of wish there was a little more. The accessories are really nice. I like the bow she has in the back. Very traditional attire. With that in mind, we'll just put her in a little drippy. I think towards the top half as well, but yeah, I just wish there might have been a little more, but it'd still be looking pretty good. Now, next up, we got Shin He. Now, straight up, I love the bodysuit thing. I think I like hers a lot more than Ganyu's, just because this one kind of makes more sense, because she just feels like she has more of an athletic build, so I think it suits her more. More. Now, this little white thing that she has here that's protecting us from seeing her boobas, I don't really get the point of it. <laughs> I'm not sure if the game just added that because, you know, there's a bit too much going on for the young folk. But it kind of looks good because it suits the black. Like, white and black as a color scheme, I love. I like the cryovision tie on her hair. Oh, that's really cool. I'll put her in a little drippy. Yeah, there's not that much going on here. Just a little drippy. Next up, we got the performing artist. Arts queen, Yunjin. Now, I really like this traditional setup she's got going on. The puffy hat with all these cute little cotton balls, I love. It looks kind of adorable, but it also makes sense for her to have this kind of drip because she's a performer, man. While a lot of the other characters just have the drip to be kind of extra. <laughs> but Yunjin kind of rocks it too. Like she just has a vibe where it suits the way she looks. And I like the simple dress she's got going on. The little scarf pink ribbon thing on the, around the neck. Very cute. The boots are very dancing related. I can respect that. But nah, I think Yunjin's attire works overall. I'm not gonna put her in straight up drip god, but I'll put her in extremely drippy. I think that's a good spot for the queen. Next up, we got Event King Ito. Okay, now right off the bat, I really like this purple ribbon thing. I'm sure there's a name for that as well. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's Japanese related, but it looks really good. And it's kind of a contradicting color compared to the rest of his simple black and red kind of color scheme he has going on. But I kind of like it. I, I think it kind of works for him. Also, I love his painted on six pack. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure it's legit. He's an Oni, right? Now, I also love belts, and this belt is so Chad-like, and it suits him. And obviously, they're both Onis, but it looks really cool. Like, if someone was wearing that in real life, and I saw them at a bar, I'd just be like, hey, yo, bro, cool belt buckle. He'd be like, oh, thanks, bro. The puffy pants are pretty cool, too. And then he has a bit of a black cape in the back here, which is... Wait, no, it's a jet, Bro, tell me, if you don't have Ito, tell me if you ever notice his jacket. Because this jacket... Wait, this jacket looks sick. Wait, 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 wait. This looks really cool. I, oh, I kind of want this jacket. It suits the gang leader vibe he has going on, even if he is just a comedy boy. You know what? 
is is Ito a trip god? <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't have a shirt to judge. But you know, yeah. No, you know, I'm gonna put my man in drip god. He looks really good with that, bro. Holy snap. Next we got Goro. Okay, he has a lot of armor going on. It looks kind of simple though. I don't know why it just feels like maybe there should be something more. The bottom half. Okay, yeah, the bottom half is very basic. The only part that I think redeems him a little bit is the black armor he has kind of scattered throughout his body. And I also like the fact that he has kind of a, a collar looking thing. I, I don't really know why, but okay. With all that in mind though, I'm still gonna put him in a little basic. I think for Genshin character standards, this just doesn't do enough to stimulate me. <laughs> Next up, we got Toma. Now right off the bat, I love the black and red color scheme with the little gold bits because he's blonde. It works really well. Now, the armor parts that he has, even though it's not that much, I think are really cool. The boots are very simple. I think the only standout part there is the socks sticking out a bit, which for some people, that is a pet peeve. Grr. But for me, I don't mind it. I think it looks fine. I also like the dog tag thing he's got going on because he's from a different nation and him bringing that makes a lot of sense. With all that in mind, I'm going to put him towards the top of a little drippy. I don't think he's quite extremely drippy, but I think he, he still looks pretty good. Next up, we got Coco Me. Now, there's a lot of frilliness going on here, which I, I mean, I personally am not the biggest fan of, but I won't subtract points for that. This part in the back here, the fact that it's so close to the ground, feels really extra. I mean, I get she has the whole fish vibe. I don't think they needed to give her straight up fins in the shape of a dress. <laughs> um, but that aside, I the one thing I do adore is the hair piece she has going on. I think it looks sick. And I do like the shade of blue. I'm gonna put her in, I don't know. I'm judging her a lot just for this one piece in the back. <laughs> I'll put her in a little drippy. Debatably, maybe even higher. It's just that this specifically bothers me. And I really like the thing she has around her neck, like the little water drop. Debatably a little higher, but we're gonna keep her there. Next, we got the Shogun. Now, very traditional Japanese-y. Wait, 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 wait. The pattern on the back with the electro vision and the color scheme. Oh my God, wait, no. No, the pattern on the back looks so beautiful. Besides for that, the red ribbon thing, it's kind of whatever. I don't really give a poop about it. The little armor thing she got there is kind of cool. The hair pieces also look really distinguished. Ooh, yeah, I like those. Okay, I'll be nice. We'll put her in extremely drippy just because I love the design of the cloak slash robe thing in the back. It just looks really nice, man. Next, we got Sara with the these things, which I mean, I, I guess they look good if we're not talking practicality. <laughs> now, right off the bat, this mask looks gorgeous. I love the Tengu mask so much. It suits her personality too. I think it's really cool. She has a similar thing covering up her boobas like Shinha. And yeah, they're, they're, those are pretty big. <laughs> I kind of adore her design a lot, actually. The more I look at it, the more I kind of love it. I like the whole pom-pom black streak thing. I don't know what it is. And just the white and black color scheme for the most part with a little bit of red that suits her mask. I adore. Ooh. For the mask alone, I'll put her in extremely drippy. If she didn't have the mask, she would be either in a little drippy or just basic. But that mask, bro, it's so unique. It's similar to Shinobu. It's just, I like Shinobu's more because it's on her face. But this one just looks so distinguished. But with that in mind, we'll keep her in the, the bottom half of extremely drippy. Next, we have Aloy, who was the queen of the last tier list because you can actually wear this in a fight. But when it comes to how good it looks, the thing is, brown isn't much of a standout color when it comes to clothing. I like the native vibe. It gives her a distinguished feeling, which I like. But besides for that, there isn't much going on. She has kind of those cowboy long boots going too. But I, I gotta put her in a little basic. Compared to a lot of these other characters, man. <laughs> nah, nah, it, it just wouldn't work. Next, we got Yoi Miya, my girl. Now, if you're thinking this is too much, no, I don't think so. Why? Because I love her. I don't care. Now, the amount of hair pieces she has is extra as heck, but I don't care. It suits her personality and it kind of just works. But besides for the hair pieces being all over the place, everything else is just kind of nice and drippy and it looks really good on her. Similar to Ito, I just like the big bow in the back. Always just looks really cool to me. Aside from that, remember when I mentioned with Kala that I don't like one stocking being higher than the other? Well, in this case, I don't like just having one leg guard and then there's none on the other side. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. 
But aside from that and the extremely large amount of hair pieces, which just imagine her having to get up every morning and just re-putting all of those on. It's probably so much work. I'm not gonna put her in drip god because there's still too much going on here, but I'm gonna put her in extremely drippy. Yeah. Am I being biased by not putting her at the bottom? Absolutely, but I don't care. Next up, we got Sayu. Now, right off the bat, I kind of love the whole Tanuki hood. It looks kind of adorable, but aside from that one aspect, the outfit is very simple. Yes, there's kind of a lot of colors going on. Can you not stretch when I'm looking at you, girl? Yes, there's a lot of colors going on, but it just kind of feels a little messy because none of them really match. It's just kind of a jumble of things, <laughs> which kind of suits Sayu, actually. I'm not going to put her in just a straight up mess because I adore the little hood she has, but with everything in mind, I'm actually just going to put her in kind of basic. Next, we got Ayaka, whose outfit, personally, man, I love this outfit. I think it looks so good. There's not too much going on yes but i like the skirt with the armor on the sides i just i don't know if it makes sense but to me it looked good and just this purple bluish color scheme with the snowflakes to signify her cry up i love i love it man i have a bit of a bias for this kind of design i also like that she has the little mini samurai little helmet on her head as an ornament i think it's adorable i kind of like everything with this girl i like the bow in the back i like the design on the bow it looks really beautiful so some of you might might doubt me for this, but I don't care. Ayaka, to me, is a drip god. She looks really good, man. Next, we got Kazuzu, who, god, I, I love this. Okay, this is so traditionally well done. Inazuma has such good traditional clothing, and this man is no exception. Now, the autumn color, he straight up has autumn leaves on him as well. It looks so good. I don't know why, but I feel like autumn just suits Kazuha himself, which just adds more to the feeling the drip gives you. And it just looks so good, man. Man. The leaf motif thing he has going, and he has that little orange strand in his hair. Yes, I know it's not drip, I don't care, but it just suits everything else. And I like the traditional footwear he has too. Now, nah, Kazuha is a drip god. I can go on for a while with why this man looks so good, but he just does. Like, he rocks the look and the vibe. Next up, we have the dancing queen, Yula. Now, in terms of drip, I do like the stocking leg things she has. I think they look really cool and sufficient. I like the pattern, the blue and the diamond looking designs. I think are a little cute touch. The top half is pretty simple. It definitely shows all her curves, which I adore. But again, I really like the mix of black and white. And she also has a little light blue going on too, which I love. And she's definitely the only character, I think, who has this kind of color scheme going on. I like the one-sided scarf thing she has in the back too. I think it looks very dapper, Mademoiselle Eula. It's kind of simple. Simple, but she kind of rocks the look a lot. Like she looks really damn good. With that in mind, extremely nice attire. Very nice girl. Next up, we have Yen Fei, the girl with the most beautiful hat, in my honest opinion, besides for maybe Klee in the game. I adore this hat to no end. And she has that little ring on the side, which I think has something to do with the law, which suits her character. A little nice midriff going on. I like that she has her little lunchbox with her when she goes to work and oh 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 my god okay okay guys these boots that she has on look like the most comfortable things in the world like do you see how much floof is in those boots it looks amazing now obviously there's not much going on here i know besides for the hat the floofy boots the lunch box the fact that i really like the red black gold white just the color scheme is great yeah you know what no i love her design it's a personal take 100% but I'm actually going to be putting her in the extremely drippy debatably a drip god but if I put her up there people for sure are going to be like why is she up there but she's going to be at the top of extremely drippy she looks great in my opinion I think she looks awesome next we got Rosaria now personally I like this version of Rosaria's outfit a lot more and I think it looks really damn good because I just really like black and the black color scheme suits her personality more because she's just really dark and edgy right and the nun thing around her head i think looks really cool looks pretty sick i like this little loincloth in the back i don't like that it's covering her booty but it is what it is you know we gotta stay a little little child friendly right but with all that said overall i'm gonna put her in 
you know what? Yeah, extremely drippy. I really like the color scheme she has going on, and I think she looks really good. Next, we got Hu Tao, who also has a pretty nice hat. I like the flowers on the side. I think those are meant to represent death, which suits my wondrous ball of wonder really well. The lack of pants always kind of bothers me, but you know, just me nitpicking. By far the best part of her is the black jacket. The pattern on it looks very unique and cool, and the back of it. Yeah, that looks really awesome, man. <laughs> With all that in mind, the lack of pants bothers me. We're gonna put her at the top of Little Drippy. Next, we got Zhao. Now, again, purple is my favorite color, so I got a little biased here. It does feel a little extra. There's, mm, yeah. Th th <laughs> There's a little too much going on here. I mean, I love my boy, but doesn't this just feel kind of extra? <laughs> like, does he need that necklace? Does he need these 10 billion different charms or whatever? I don't know. And there's like three different, four different scarf things hanging from his back. I think this might be a bit much, my boy. Don't get me wrong. I love the purple color scheme and I think it looks pretty good. But overall, I think it's a little bit much. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess in terms of how good it looks as a whole. But as individual items, I like them. But just as an outfit. No, no, no. Next, we got Ganyu with a one-piece bodysuit that I, I don't really like this, to be honest with you. But what I do like is that the sleeves she has, which they're not even attached to anything, I just realized. How are they even staying that? Oh, wait, wait. They're like kind of actually on her skin, I just realized. The fact that they suit her hair so perfectly, I adore. And the bottom of her dress in the back also looks really good. I do like her little distinguished bell in the middle of her boobas, because I believe it does actually ring when you run with her, which is really cool. It gives her a little vibe. But besides for that, there isn't that much going on here, so I'm just gonna put her in a little drippy. Yeah. Next up, we got Albedo. Now, right off the bat, I love the color of this man's undershirt, and it doesn't even stand out that much because his jacket looks gorgeous. The mix of black, white, and gold suits his sophisticated nature and just his hair. He has a lot of unique designs scattered throughout his clothing, which does definitely don't need to be there, but they just kind of add something. They don't bother me and it doesn't feel like it's too much, which I really like, man. And just the color of his undershirt, I, like I said, I love it. And with all that in mind, is he a drip god? He mm, he might be. It just looks really simple, but it looks so good. Oh, look, he drew a cat. You know what? Because he drew the cat, he's going in drip god. <laughs> Next up, we got Zhang Li. Yeah, I have such a thing for formal attire. It's ridiculous. And this is no exception. My man looks stimulating. I said before that I think brown is a very boring color to have in clothing, but for him, it just works perfectly. His hair goes well with it. But yeah, this is formal done right. Is he a drip god? Not quite. The thing is, you can debatably say this is basic if you're not into the formal attire. I also like the pattern. It looks like one of those mazes. See on the back here? I'm gonna put him in just extremely drippy. I think that's a good spot. Next, we got Jin Yan over here. Okay. This is kind of boring. <laughs> There's not much going on here. I think the four stars have a bit of a disadvantage when it comes to clothing. Because the thing with Jin Yan is, with her personality, girl, they could have just given this girl so much random stuff and it would work because it suits her. But besides for the little spikes in the hair and the, I don't know, the taiko drum, <laughs> there's not much going on. And again, I don't like the fact that she doesn't have pants. But with all that in mind, I like my girl a lot, but she's going in a little basic. Next, we got Child. Ooh, I kind of like this because he gives me heavy mercenary vibes just by the outfit alone. The gray and white color scheme he has going on, I think is pretty cool. And he has the red skin. Scarf? Is that no? It's not really a scarf. I don't like. What is? There's so many random things that I just don't understand why they're there and what they even like. What is it supposed to do? He also does have the cool mask in the hair though because of his harbinger. What is it? Foul legacy, I think it's called. But looks really good too. With all that in mind, I'll be nice. Put him in the bottom of extremely drippy, just because the uniqueness of the mask. I think that kind of gives him a distinguished vibe. Next we got Diona. Mm, I do like the little kitty pouch. I <laughs> kind. Of think that's adorable. I do like her hat. It's not top tier when it comes to hats of Genshin, but all the hats in this game are amazing, so I can't judge her. But besides for those two little distinguished parts, everything else is kind of basic. I'll still put her in a little drippy. Yeah, I think the little two parts she has that are unique 
technique will save her a little bit. And I do like, oh wait, I didn't realize she has the little flask with the cryo vision on the back. Okay, yeah, a little drippy. We'll keep her there. Next, we got Klee with debatably the best hat in the game. Also, I love her knapsack, gives her more personality, even though she's already just a bundle of personality. <laughs> now, I'm counting Dodoko as an accessory, and I love Dodoko. <laughs> That's giving her points just for that alone. And I just kind of like the red color scheme with the little pom-pom she has there. With all that in mind, I'll put her in extremely drippy, but towards the bottom half. I don't think she's quite great, but she ain't bad. She looked pretty good. Next, we got Venti. Now, I love this color scheme. Green isn't even one of my favorite colors, but just the mix of green and white and his face. I don't know why it just suits the whole outfit to me. I think he pulls this off really well. The cape, although I hate it in terms of combat, I think the cape hat setup he's got going is really cool and really just distinguished, if you will. With that in mind, I don't really like this green puffy pant thing <laughs> he's got going on towards the bottom. It kind of bugs me a little bit. I'll put him in extremely drippy, actually. I think the mix of hat and cape to me just it's so perfect and he does it so well yeah yeah we're gonna put him in extremely drippy next we got kishing very simple outfit i love the leggings that just have a thing for those and those heels the purple and gold bro oh my i i kind of freaking adore that now purple is my favorite color so i'm already having a bias for her the color scheme of just light bluish white with the purple oh my god it does be looking quite good now it's very formal like you can tell my girl is rich <laughs> But she kind of pulls it off really well. Is she a drip gut? Nah. Again, we're having a lot of characters in the extremely drippy, but not quite the drip god. Next, we got Mona, who I'm gonna say right off the bat, I might be getting flagged. I don't like the drip that much. I'm gonna say this, the hat looks amazing. I love the hat. I like the whole starry astrology vibe because you know, that's what she does. And they try to portray that with her outfit. But I think it's kind of, am I the only one who feels like it's a little messy? It just, there's kind of too many colors here. Like the purple, blackish, red, gold. I'm going to get flagged for this. I know for a damn fact, but this feels messy to me. I think this is the perfect example of just too much. It suits her. I just feel like they could have done a little less. I'm sorry. I like Mona. She's my spirit animal, but I'm not that much of a fan of her drip. Next, we got Chi Chi over here. Okay. It does look right off the bat a little basic. I like the little beads. She has a little cute geisha hat. I I'm probably saying that wrong. And little talisman gives her a little unique vibe. I'll be nice. I'll put her in a little drippy. Definitely debatable. I would not be surprised if I move her to basic at the end of the video, but we'll just put her in a little drippy. There's not much going on, but it's not bad, right? Next, we got D-Look. I love this. I, oh my God. I love simple clothing. This is so much more drippy than something like Mona's mess, in my opinion, because it's just black, gold, and a white shirt. That is it. And it looks so good. It suits him too. Now, this coat, I'm gonna be honest, if I saw this, in a store in real life, I'd probably buy it because it's not so far out there, but it has enough drip for it to actually look really good. It's the perfect blending mix. And I like the formal attire, like I said before, and I like the poofiness below the jacket. Yeah, he's a drip god. In my opinion, yes, when you look at him at the top tier and Mona at the bottom, you might be like, what? But man, I gotta follow my heart with this, guys. Next, we got Jean. I love the leggings. I love the white leggings so much. White usually isn't my favorite favorite color when it's on an outfit, but in her case, I think it works really well. It's a nice mix of just white, green, and the little bit of black, not too much. It complements her really well. I do like the little back cape thing. I don't really know what this is, <laughs> but it looks good on the back side of her, looking nice and dapper. I think in terms of formal attire on a female character, this is kind of peak. I don't think anyone else is probably going to top Jean in that regard. We're going to put her in extremely drippy. I do like this kind of outfit a lot. I think it looks really good. Next, we got Sakiros. Now, the hat, it's definitely on the lower tier of hats. I'm not saying it looks bad, but it's just kind of whatever. Besides for the hat, everything looks kind of simple. I'm going to say this. I like the blue and white color scheme she has on the top, and the little cape in the back I think looks really cute and suits it. But then she has the darker colored stockings, which I don't really like in this kind of outfit. If she had a darker upper half without the white, maybe, be just a general different color scheme. I think it would look better, but I don't think this is a good mix 
mix of colors. And then they have the white boots at the bottom, which I do. Oh, I actually really like these boots. Oh, these are nice, man. Okay, Sucrose. That in mind though, I'll just put her in a, a little drippy. I don't think it's quite a mess, but I'm not that big of a fan of the color scheme. Next, we got Chung Yun. Now this is very traditional attire. It's very simple. This is kind of basic. I don't want to insult him because of the traditional aspect of it, but there really isn't much going on here. Like, you can't tell me this is really drippy when it comes to Genshin standards of character drip. I do like it, don't get me wrong. I like the mix of white and blue. Obviously, it suits his hair. Do I have a reason to move him up a tier? Not really. No, I'm just going to put him in a little basic. Not because I don't like it. It's just there's not much going on, and I just kind of wish there might have been, like, a standout part of his outfit. Now we got Noel. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, wait. Don't go me wrong i love my girl but this is does this kind of feel like a mess to you guys or is it just me because the black and red and white and gold the color scheme is just kind of all over the place are we gonna have to put her in the messy don't get me wrong i don't dislike how she looks but when i try to pay attention to the colors and how they match like it's too mess now i love my girl noelle you know i adore you noelle come on i still use you instead of zhang li my girl but with that in mind i do think this outfit is just genuinely messy next we got ben over here okay it looks kind of basic oh yeah it is kind of basic isn't it <laughs> he has the cool goggles his pants or sorry shorts i like the color but it's just kind of a mess of things hanging from it which kind of bothers me and the shorts they don't really match the shirt like these two colors don't really match at all in my opinion which kind of makes sense for bennett because i don't think he really cares <laughs> about that kind of thing <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it's pretty basic guys not much going on here next Next up, we got Fischl. <laughs> okay. Remember how I said I like the color purple? And purple does go well with black. The thing is, it feels like she's just kind of wearing lingerie. Am I the only one who feels that? And again, I don't like the mix of one legging being longer than the other. It makes no sense. I do like the cool bat wings on the boots. I think that really suits her. That's kind of cool. But with that in mind, is it a mess? I'm debating on a mess and just a little drippy. Nah, I gotta put it, I gotta put it in a mess. It, dude, it looks straight up like lingerie. You're fighting in lingerie, girl. What is you doing? Ning Guang. I am kind of an advocate of this attire. It's a perfect blend. I do adore the sophisticated hairpin. It looks very nice. I like how the colors fade into each other here. I like the fade so much. That's definitely the standout aspect of this outfit. Besides for that, there isn't much going on though. Yes, it's very fancy because she's a high standing citizen, but with all that in mind, I'll probably just put this in a little drippy. I don't think it's quite up up there, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah. Next we got Jing Cho. Ooh, this do be looking pretty basic. Let's try to find something that stands out. Okay, I did a full 360 and uh, I did not find anything. <laughs> now, I am gonna say I adore his shoes. They look so rich. I mean, he's pretty wealthy, but they look awesome. And I do like the color scheme of the blue, black, and gold. I think it looks really cool. But overall, for Genshin standards, it's pretty basic. Like, I don't think I'm gonna get flagged for that. <laughs> Next up, we got the Booze Queen. You drink that drink, girl. Now, again, I love the black and gold combination, like I mentioned with Ning Guang and a couple of other characters that have it going for them. Okay, I think these are probably my favorite stocking kind of boots in the game. Because one, she has the anchors on the sides, which they just suit her perfectly. And the color scheme itself just suits her. I don't think the red matches the black and gold perfectly, but I still think it's pretty good and i do like the back coat i'll put her at the top of a little drippy i don't think it's quite up up there but it's still it's pretty good man i'll put her with ning guang actually her wife next up we got zhang ling now mm, very simple is it basic though she has the unique little bell i do like the little guoba accessory it's kind of cute but the lack of pants always bothers me like i said and everything else kind of whatever not much going on here she's also going in a little basic next we got the homeless wolf boy now this is a very obvious mess <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna dispute me when I say that Razor is dressed like a homeless person because, I mean, he is kind of a homeless person. So yeah, I'm not judging him as a character for dressing like this because it makes sense. And I do kind of like the tribal vibe he has going. But it just genuinely looks messy overall, man. Yeah, sorry, my wolf boy. I'm gonna have to put you at the bottom. Next, we got Barb. <laughs> you know where she's going. <laughs> now, she has the little hat. Probably the most basic looking hat. She has the white little frilly 
idol dress. She has, um, you know, shoes. I don't know. The color scheme is nice. It's just kind of white and a little bit of gold and blue. She's basic. Let's be real. Barbara is the definition of basic. She does have a really tragic backstory, but we're not talking about backstories right now. We're just talking about how good does she look. Next, we got Mama Lisa. Now, ooh, okay, wait. I actually like this a lot. The hat is really nice. This lantern thing has no reason to be there whatsoever, but it looks fine. Besides for that, I like her heels a lot. I like the stockings that kind of fade into just some thigh, and then it just kind of continues into the upper dress thing. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. I'm actually gonna put her, just by personal, I personally like this, in Drip God, because this looks amazing to me. It just kind of looks great, right? Next, we got Kaya over here. Now, I have a mixed feeling about this, because I kind of like the white scarf that he has going around his neck, but then I don't like this part here. So kind of mixed feelings. I really like the, the fur scarf though. I feel like it might get a little itchy at points, but it still looks really good. Besides for that though, the color scheme is kind of a mess. Ooh, it, it kind of really is a mess here, isn't it? I won't put them in straight up messy though. I'll put them in a little drippy. Yeah, because there's not much going on besides for just a kind of a mix of mash of colors. Then we got Amber. Now I'm giving her points for this little ribbon because I find it absolutely adorable adorable. Little goggles she has going too, I think look really nice. And I do really like the mix of red and white. I think she's the only character who really has that going. And even when you look further down, it's also red and white. I like this mix of colors a lot. I think she pulls this off pretty well. And I know this is her like second outfit because she had an older one. But when we're talking about this one, it's extremely drippy, I think actually. Yeah, the colors match. It just looks overall really good. Next, we got Lumine over here. I had to change interfaces because she isn't in the other one because they're mean. Now, I'm pretty sure people think Lumine looks boring because it's just all white. I think she looks really freaking cute. The little white flowers, just a little accessory, but it's, it's kind of nice. And it's simple. The thing is, I like this because to me, yes, it feels a little basic, but it's not messy. It feels clean and good. I like the blue outline on the sides of a lot of her dress as well. It looks cool. Debatably, you can put my girl here in basic, but I'm going to put her towards the middle half of just a little drippy. I don't think she looks that bad. Hey guys, so just like last time for the last four characters, we don't have them in the system interface, so we're gonna have to use some PNGs. So first up we have Baizu, who is either a drip lord or it's a little too much. I don't know, he kinda is rocking the look. He kinda gives me heavy stoner vibes. It's tricky though, I don't wanna put him at the bottom and I don't think I have enough angles to really put him at the top. So we'll just put him in extremely drippy. Next we got Aether. I'm not that big of a fan of the color scheme. I think I like Lumine's a lot more. Debatably, you can say Lumine looks a little more average Joe-like, if you will, especially for anime standards. Like the belly being exposed is kind of why. I do like the upper half and the cape a lot. I just, the bottom half, he kind of falls off for me. So with that in mind, I'll put him towards the top of just kind of basic. There's not a lot going on here. Yes, he has the majestic hair, but that's not drip, guys. Like, no, no, no. Then we got Kave. I kind of like Kave's drip a lot. The white shirt robe and then the black pants obviously match really well. And then he has blue, red, green scattered throughout the rest of his body, which is kind of messy, but he kind of rocks the look. There's just a vibe he has where the drip kind of just makes sense. But with all this said, I'll put Kave in the lower side of extremely drippy. He has a lot going on, and if I saw him from every angle, there's a possibility I'd put him in kind of messy, but from what I see right now, it's, it's not bad. It looks pretty drippy, pretty nice. And then finally, we have Mika, who if you've seen me review this guy before, I always talk about how nice his drip looks. I don't think he's quite a drip lord, but I just like the color of the jacket and the strands hanging down, and the open boots. I think that's kind of one of a kind. Not many characters have that going. His hair irritates me because it's, it's just like, like, he's a rooster, is that what he's trying to go for? But in terms of the attire itself, I'll put him in extremely drippy. It looks pretty good, I kind of like this a lot, especially for how 
simple of a character he is for him to have a attire like that i think is really nice all right guys so i just finished organizing the characters by most blessed to the most kind of a mess with that in mind guys this whole video was pretty subjective i think it's the most subjective video i've ever done but let me know who your personal pick is for blessed by the drip gods who do you think has the best attire out of anyone in the game but with that in mind guys thank you for watching take care and have a good one thanks for watching please sub bye